Hi everybody, this is a little different video than what I normally do. Today I wanted to talk to you about a personal experience that uh, my family is going through. So my father about a year ago was diagnosed with MDS or Myelodysplastic Syndrome. If you know anything about this then you, you would know what, it, what it's about. But in any case, he started a treatment called Vidaza, uh, which is a brand name. So the generic name is Azacitidine, and it's a chemotherapy. Now, that didn't work, and he got weaker and weaker. And at some point, the uh, MDS turns into AML, or acute myeloid leukemia. At that point, the uh, doctors really uh, gave up and uh, they actually told us uh, we should take him to a hospice and uh, we should not stop the treatment, but um, he was determined and we were also and uh, we wanted to give it another try. So as a last ditch effort, we tried an experimental drug called Venetoclax. He tried it really for one pill, I believe, maybe two, but that that pill totally crushed him and he stopped taking it. But uh, it didn't work as far as having the blood, the white blood count cells go down. But it was so hard on his body that uh, he, he, he just didn't want to take it again. It was it was that bad. And uh, after that point, he just continued to uh, deteriorate uh, to the point where he was just really skin and bone with all sorts of skin infections, really some really bad stuff. Throughout this process, around the time where we figure out that the Vigdaza isn't working, we found a few articles about research done with a specific K2 vitamin. And we asked three different doctors, his main doctor and two extra opinions if this could help and all three said they don't think so and they really they were really adamant uh, uh, they also kind of refused to talk about it like uh, some sort of uh, taboo because it's just a vitamin and it, it um, it's not a pharmaceutical but uh, in any case my father's condition was so bad that we were like it can't get any worse uh, so we uh, decided to add the K2 to the pill regimen uh, without the doctor's approval. Now, within two weeks, his condition improved drastically. He started eating, he regained much of his strength, his blood tests were getting better, and two months later, he's still functioning in a clear mind, he has good appetite, he's um, not independent uh, because he still has uh, leukemia, but um, much much better he's uh you know with help he can he can do stuff he, he's alert he eats he you know he goes around in his wheelchair because he's an amputee not not because of this disease but uh from a previous injury so i believe that it's due to the k2 because the research that was done suggest that this is exactly what should happen and i also don't think it's a placebo effect because to be honest, he didn't know that he was taking it. Uh, just, just because of the amount of pills that he takes every day, he's not really following exactly what he's taking. He's just, you know, uh, following what the doctors say. On the other hand, it could be something else that's causing his improvement, but um, it really sure seems to match the research. Now, recently I did some more research, and it turns out that other countries like Japan, and I believe Sweden, they also have been using K2 to treat MDS with good results. So let me just point out that this video is not supposed to give you medical advice. I obviously can't do that, but I wanted to share my father's experience and hopefully start a dialogue, hopefully in the comments and people talking about it. And maybe uh, we can hear back if um, other people had the same experience because it has been so much help, I believe. By the way, I know that this is not a cure. It's not gonna cure the disease, but it at least alleviates some of the bad symptoms and at least gives them some sort of uh, quality of life until obviously another stage comes, hopefully later than not soon. So I'm going to post two links in the description to the specific K2 pills that he's been using. One with an affiliate link and another one without.
it's your choice pick whichever you want uh, though you know that uh, if you click on the affiliate link it does help support the channel now this is the only high dosage k2 in the form that was suggested in the research that i found online and in fact i was reading in some of the comments on amazon that this is the exact one they used in the research so I, I really hope they don't stop selling it at some point. My dad has been taking two pills a day at 30 milligrams uh, total. Uh, the research suggests 50 milligrams, but we started with two pills, 30 milligrams, and it seems to work. So we don't want to kind of change things. Now, just to keep in mind that normal vitamin K2 dosages don't even come close to like a milligram. It, they don't even come close. To get to a milligram, you have to like have a few pills. So this is really high dosage. I'll also post in the description uh, uh, different links to the different researches that we found. And uh, I just wanna thank you very much for watching and listening. And I really hope that not only does it help other people, but um, we kinda hear back if it helps other people and hopefully you know there, there's some talk going uh, because there is absolutely no reason why doctors should refuse to even try it when it, it's so cheap it's the the ventaclax medicine by the way was ten thousand dollars a month now we can go into all these conspiracy theories why they don't want to just try vitamins because it's cheap and it's probably uh, the pharmaceuticals don't get money out of it. But maybe we shouldn't get into that in the discussion. Maybe we should just get to discussing what dosages worked, at what stage it, it helped. When did it stop working? Because we, I personally don't know when is the next stage of things going worse. Uh, while I hope it will take a while, uh, I, re I really don't know. So again, thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you in the next video. Till next time, bye.